Hello, Westlane community. I was at the skilled nursing facility this past week, and I was greeted by one of our screeners. I asked her how she was doing and how things were going. She paused for a moment and said, well, the residents and families are concerned and anxious. And the staff are too. Even though there are vaccines, there don't seem to be enough. Even if they are available, getting a clinic or getting somewhere to get them administered, it's taking a very long time. But, she said, God loves us and he will take care of us. So I am blessed. I was blown away by her optimism. It reminded me of a quote that the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. once shared, quietly endure, silently suffer, and patiently wait. I have to admit that immediately I felt a little ashamed. I haven't had to endure or suffer or even really wait as others have. And even when I've experienced these to some small extent, I certainly wasn't quiet. I know I wasn't silent and I was short of patience. But here, this wonderful teammate, dressed in protective equipment from head to toe, didn't linger on difficulties, but instead made a point to share the promise of unconditional love and the protection of our God. In a sermon this weekend, I heard this statement that the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. would have been 92 on January 15th. The minister went on to say that it's not so important how old he would have been, but far more important for us to reflect and remember what he did while he lived. The ministry of abundant life that is at the core of the Wesleyan is for all of us, no matter what we look like, no matter where we are from, no matter how old we are. I pray that you have a wonderful week. God bless.